Is methylene blue the first pharmaceutical? Or? Yeah, good memory. Uh, so in the late 1800s, methylene blue became the first drug approved by the FDA for the treatment of malaria. Previous to that, it was actually used as a chemical dye. It would dye blue jeans, but a couple of scientists discovered that it helps with malaria. And so it gets approved for malaria, then it gets used in psychiatry treatments, uh, mostly as a dye because a psychiatrist can tell if you're taking your pills or not because you're peeing out blue. Uh, but it went sort of dormant and then a researcher, uh, Francisco Gonzalez Lima and a few others, uh, discovered some additional properties with methylene blue that became very interesting, even starting in the 80s, 90s, uh, around ATP production, memory, uh, even as an antifungal, mm. antiviral. I stopped by a store today, you probably familiar, Alive and Well. Yes. Uh, they carry your products. They do. They carry one of our products, the Tallow Balm. So that's a gift for you. Oh, thank you. It's Yovel's and pretty much is everyone's favorite tallow in the world. Uh, and I have to say, I'm a huge fan of tallow in a Chicago winter, so thank you. And it also smells like cake. And then there's the other gift I got for you. This is our newest skew. It's uh, just pure bison testicles. Awesome. I'm a huge fan of glandulars and I'm looking forward to trying this one as well. Yeah. Right now, should I try that? Of course. That? Uh, how much caffeine do you have per day? Oh, I have a quad shot uh, in the morning and then I'll have a little like cuware and or mate. Uh, later in the day. Any nicotine? Uh, a little, I got a little bit, a little bit here and there. So we're going to try a half with you. Okay. Half can quickly become a full if somebody who is experienced with nicotine, experienced with caffeine, you might need a little bit more, but let's start a half. Now you can see the, this is the buckle trochee for anybody watching this. Uh, buckle trochees, we have them quartered and uh, scored already so that you can practice what's called self titration. Uh, that means that your dose is gonna be different than mine. And the dose really depends on things like caffeine intake, nicotine intake, but also body mass. Uh, for example, we have, uh, bodybuilder Chris Gethin who uses our products and he needs two. Uh, two full ones. Two full ones. Okay. A and two full ones. Uh, so one full one contains one milligram of nicotine. Uh, that really packs the punch when it comes to focus. Methylene blue, five milligrams. As an MAO, it helps with dopamine production, also prevents dopamine breakdown uh, and, and numerous other neurotransmitters. And it has CBD that helps round it out. So I don't know if you've done nicotine shots or nicotine pouches, but sometimes it could feel a little sharp. Okay. Uh, and then caffeine which is wow. the most widely used wow. nootropic in the world. Now, it's all the fun drugs. Exactly. Exactly. It's it's my my fun party all in one.